here from Alien Gear Holsters and I'm with my friend Maxwell, the director of customer service, the best customer service on the planet. And uh, thank you for being here, Maxwell. Maxwell's gonna talk to you. If you are carrying a few extra pounds, you wanna conceal carry every single day, he's gonna shed some light. So Maxwell, thank you for being here. First of all, I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me out. Yes. So I just wanna do, uh, I get a lot of questions in customer service about uh, carrying for folks that are, you know, a few extra pounds. And, you know, let's, let's be real. A few extra pounds, a little extra bigger person, probably not going to be as apt to run as to stand and fight and that's why I carry every day I uh, uh, what I'm wearing today I am expected to uh, you know dress up and play the part from time to time as I am director of customer service and so I wanted to show that we in fact can do that and uh, look nice and still carry your uh, your everyday carry so I have the shoulder holster today and I was gonna demonstrate why I do carry it from time to time but it is not my favorite carry and the reason that it's not my favorite carry is I have such a wide body that getting over and getting a good grip on my gun I can do it but it's not as accessible as where I prefer to carry, which I do prefer to carry every day inside the waistband with either a Shapeshift 4.0 IWB or a Cloak Tuck 3.5, depending on which firearm I'm carrying. So uh, with the shoulder holster, again, the, the, the reach, just not right, right exactly where I'd like it to be with the inside the waistband. And you can kind of see it here. Um, I am able to grab and get a good grip on my firearm and be ready to go whenever I need to. I do have with this vest a little bit of a TPE sewn in. That's to elongate the life of the vest as well as to add comfort and to print less because when you're a bigger guy, clothes fit a little tighter and I don't like to, to print and show if I can help it. So that's why I had that sewn in. Didn't cost a whole bunch and it, it saves the life of my vest and it just makes me a little more comfortable. I love that TPE that you have back there show you uh, that like. is really such a cool addition you can tell you you've worn that a few times all right we're back and look we've done a little bit of a wardrobe change <laughs> but we also did a little bit of a holster change so we're going to go over that because not always are we wanting to conceal carry there's all kinds of scenarios where you want to carry a firearm so let's cover a few of those let's start here on your chest let's talk about the chest holster how do you feel about the chest holster so first of all I love this holster uh, for the range, for hunting, for hiking. It's right here. It's you know generally pointed in a safe direction. It's super comfortable. I can't tell how many folks uh, out there, you, our customers, uh, call and say, hey, will the chest holster fit me? I'm kind of a thick guy. It fits me great. I have room to move here if I needed to even increase it. Hopefully I don't. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it, it is super comfortable. It moves with me. And it's, it's not cumbersome in any way. It doesn't get caught on my stuff. If I'm wearing a backpack, I can do it with that. Can't say enough good things about this holster. Um, it only comes in cloak series, but we have over 700 guns in cloak series, so take your pick. One of the things I love about the chest holster too is it comes in a variety of sizes. Mm -hmm. And each size is individually adjustable on each strap too. Yep. And the one click clip, yep. which makes it easy on and off as well. It's just a great, holster that cool vent, cool vent neoprene again free shell swap for life as yep. well so if you decide to get rid of your 1911 you want to go up to a 50 ae <laughs> desert eagle right. then you can do that really easy we're going to swap that out for you for free forever too so that's cool chest holster what else as far as outside the waistband or you know you're not trying to conceal carry what are some other so, options so so we have some options i don't have them here with me but i really like our outside the waistband cloak belt holster um, as well as the the shapeshift belt holster depending again on which firearm you have uh footprint wise that shapeshift's gonna have a little smaller footprint but you can't uh, discount that that cloak uh, belt holster because of how wide it is diffuses the weight of that pistol over your waistband makes it super comfortable mm -hmm. just kind of goes away you can throw a shirt over it sits real close to your body and, and it's great one of my favorite carries uh, for outside the waistband uh, for me especially if i'm going on a long trip or like i say hiking this accessibility can't beat it uh, right. and so uh, again like you say that that free shell swaps for life gives you a lot of options there also just like any of our holsters forever warranty anything happens to any piece of this get a hold of us we'll uh, we'll get you fixed up and get a new piece or whole product out to you so we got a couple other holsters here that you're wearing yeah so we got a, looks like a drop leg here yep got a, a drop leg for my 1911 
and I uh, love this one for the range. Um, I must have uh, must have shot out of this probably 100 times or so, and uh, it just is my go-to for the range because of where my hand falls. Got my mags here if I need them. With Nate standing right here, I'm not going to switch carries right here, but uh, am I good to do that? Yeah. All right, so right here, just drop it in. It has the thumb brake on it, and I'm ready to fire should I need to. But, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite carries, mostly for the range. This is for kind of uh, your everyday out in the woods, hunting, fishing, hiking. I really do like this one. I'm also carrying, and it is my, again, I've, I've mentioned this a few times, but my favorite everyday carry is inside the waistband, either a Shapeshift 4.0 or our Cloak Tuck 3.5. It goes away, you can't really tell I'm carrying it, and it's just the most comfortable holster I've ever worn in my life, so I really do enjoy it. You know, I get a question sometimes too, what about appendix carry? So, I have an appendix carry um, that I brought with me. I don't have it out here, and I can definitely show you guys, but I don't have a lot of real estate for appendix carry holsters. Now, we do get a lot of folks out there that say, oh, I don't really like your uh, 3.5 or your 4.0 because of how wide it is. And the reason it's that wide is to diffuse the weight of that pistol outward so it's not going down, pulling your pants down. No one needs that. So that's why I do prefer uh, that wider pistol or that wider, wider holster. The appendix is a good single clip option if you don't like that big old footprint for an inside the waistband option. For me, I will wear it if I do want a smaller footprint single clip option, but I don't have any spot up front. Sitting down, bending down, any of those things, I don't wear an appendix carry holster for, for this area of my body. I do wear our cloak mag carrier in this area of my body because it hides it, my, my body shape hides it very well. And uh, I know that a lot of people out there train with magazine up, but for my size and how I train and, and making the holster go away. We, uh, I just draw right from here. It's a horizontal, a horizontal uh, carry, and I'm ready to go right into the magazine of my firearm here, and it's good to go. So I do carry appendix for my magazine right there. I like that you're carrying that horizontal as well. I had another question about an ankle holster. Do you ever use an ankle holster? How does those work? Um, you know, they, they work great. I, I've worn them to test them and to try them. I don't wear one. A whole bunch um, they're comfortable uh, you know I, I have to take a knee I, I'm not because of my shape and my size I'm gonna have to drop down to one knee to pull that versus bend down and really I think if you're training uh, and I'm no expert by any means and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there with a lot of different practices but but for me bending over to grab a pistol isn't isn't good especially in a situation where you need it I'm gonna take a knee I'm gonna make myself a, tar a smaller target and I'm gonna draw from that backup holster in an ankle. When I'm carrying it, I don't carry it a whole bunch. So Maxwell, one of the things that I'm curious about is let's say I don't carry a concealed carry firearm at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of a sudden I'm looking into it and like, what kind of clothing am I gonna want? And let's talk about after the clothing, if you had to only buy one holster, which one's it gonna be? So let's start with the clothing. Okay, so for myself, um, you know, clothing, Shopping when you're shopping for clothing when you're a bigger person is always a chore. Um, I get a lot of questions about if I buy this uh, holster, especially the inside the waistband, am I going to have to go up in pants size? And the question to that is a little bit complex. If you are, if your pants are currently tight right now, and you're going to go to carrying inside the waistband, you're probably going to have to go up a pant size. If the pants you're wearing right now are relaxed, even mildly relaxed, these don't take up a whole bunch of room, and you should be fine. Uh, shirts, you know, I, I like to care, wear a little bigger shirt and, uh, you know, sometimes I tuck it in, a lot of the times I don't. And, uh, you know, if you do tuck it in, just a little bit of blousing makes the firearm go away. Um, but, you know, loose and comfortable is what's good for me. That's, that's what I prefer. Mm -hmm. And one holster. <laughs> so one holster, if I had to really choose one, for the whole experience of concealed carry or, or, or carrying in general. I've done both. I've open carried and I've concealed carried. I prefer concealed carry. Uh, it gets a lot less looks and strange interactions. Uh, so I prefer concealed carry and when I am concealed carrying, I do prefer either our, uh, our IWB options, either the Cloak Tuck 3.5 or the Shapeshift 4.0. 
just because of comfort, how close it sits to me. Um, and it, it's just an overall you can great get holster. You to it easy. You can yeah. draw it quickly. So that is something I kind of want to cover for a lot of folks out there that are bigger. You know, you, you see the your normal build people, they'll reach over and they'll pull up this shirt. My, my width does not allow that. So I've trained a lot with that. And yeah, I know, you know, there's a lot of people that it takes too long. It could cost your life. It's what I have to do for my size. So just up, grab, and then uh, present and ready to go. So uh, that is, you know, that, that's what I prefer. And that's, you know, that's how I draw. If you have any questions, please put it into the comments. And guess what? I'm pretty sure you might get him to answer some of those questions. And uh, I think we should just show them a little bit about drawing from your holster and uh, yeah, putting some I'm, rounds down range. I'm happy to. Cool. Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If you want more of this cool gun fun, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you get that notification as well so you know when we're launching new videos because they will be coming out all the time. Thank you for joining us. We're going to keep you. shooting here, and uh, we hope to see you soon. From all of us at Alien Gear, please carry safe, carry in comfort, and carry on. Now let's fire away. Absolutely.